Hello, my name is Linda Leaf and I'm an international umpire and national referee. And today I want to talk to you briefly about some miscellaneous table tennis rules. Rules that uh, will come up when you play and you often do not know how to handle. Okay, and just uh, to help me out with the rules today, we, we have Gryffindor and Slivering. All right, so one common mistake that uh, beginners or recreational ping pong players who are learning to play more serious play make is they put their hand on the table. When the ball's in play, you cannot put your non-racket hand, like uh, Sliverine is doing here, on the table. If you do, when the ball's in play, that's a fault, your opponent wins the point. Some other issues are there is no volley over the table, okay? So in other words, the ball, uh, Gryffindorf would hit the ball, it comes in high, it sits here, it looks so nice, and Slivering wants to just hit it and smash it. Well, the ball is still over the table. You cannot volley over the table. You have to let it bounce, okay? And we all know you have to let it bounce at least once. If it bounces twice on your side, you lose the point. Okay, some other miscellaneous rules, and this pertains to service. We all know when you serve, it has to hit your side of the table and your opponents. If the ball hits your side of the table and the net and also your opponents, that's, so it's otherwise good, that's a let, it's a do-over. But if the ball hits the, the table, the net, and goes off the table, that is not otherwise good, you lose the point. All right? So, um, if any part of the ball catches any part of the top of the table, it's considered good. It's still in play. Okay? And sometimes, but if it hits the side, it's not good. If the ball bounces twice on your side, you know you lose the point. You can only bounce once, but remember, you have to let it bounce. In a rally, okay, if you hit the ball, it hits the net, and then dribbles over like that, okay, the ball's still in play. And I know Gryffindor is really fast, but not quite as fast as the flash. So probably not gonna get there before that second bounce and they lose the point. But the ball is still in play. If it hits the net in a rally. All right. Uh, let's see, a couple other. Uh, when you serve, okay, if you serve, toss the ball up, you swing and miss, you lose the point. No do over, unlike in tennis. Or you don't like it, you toss the ball up, catch a toss because you don't like it, you lose the point. The only do-over in service is if the ball hits the net and it's otherwise good. Uh, you can also hit the ball, okay, around the table. Okay, let's say a Gryffindor and Slivering are in a really competitive rally. They're coming around on the sides and Gryffindor hits the ball out here to the side. Okay, Slivering can come around and can hit the ball around the net as long as it goes onto the opponent's court. A good return is defined as you hit the ball in your opponent's side of the table. All right, there's no rule that it says it, it can't go around the table. Any part, but, um, any part of the net post is considered part of the net. So if Sliverine hits the ball, okay, in a, this is in a rally, okay, the ball hits here, bounces here, bounces on the table here, it's still in play. Okay, because it's like it, it's treated as if it's part of the net. All right, uh, another common issue that often comes up more than you realize when you're playing is, okay, if uh, Slivery, um, or let's say Gryffindor hits the ball, okay, and it has some heavy backspin on it, it comes, it lands here, but it sits up high, and it starts going back over the net here. What should Sliverine doing? Well, Sliverine do. He should be really fast, come over here and hit the ball down on the Gryffindor side of the table, okay, to make the point. If not, he loses the point, okay? If it comes back over here, hits here, comes back over here and touches here without Sliverine hitting it, he would lose the point. All right, um, I think, I, okay. I think that, oh, one other thing I should say before we close is, is this. Often at uh, tournaments, there is not an umpire for every table. The 
players have to kind of officiate, umpire their own matches, keep track of the score. And an issue that sometimes comes up is if a ball comes, did it hit an edge or not? And that's harder to tell than you realize sometimes. So if the players have a dispute over whether the ball caught the edge or not, remember, any part of the ball catches any part of the top of the table, it's good. Then the rule of thumb, and this is just exercising fair play, that the player that is closest to that side of the table, it's their call. So finally, exercise, fair play, and good sportsmanship, and have a lot of fun. Thank you.